I am coming off of a massive, crazy, mad summer. All the kids are home. Well, they were anyway. I'm done. I'm done. Finally had a break today. There was no one home. No one called me. I slept till noon. Exhausted. I mean, ugh. My, I mean, I've, I've been putting in 20 hour days like all summer, dude. Well, the, the kids are home and I don't, no, don't even give me that. College students are kids. No, all you, all you got to do is reverse the precedent, George. I mean, if what college student would argue that he's not a kid? You, you want to prove something is true. Act like you're trying to prove that it's false and see if anyone would defend you. Okay, all right. So I, I'm i just saying, yeah, they are kids. I mean, what college is going to say, I'm an adult. I act mature and stuff, right. So I go around, grab these kids, throw them down in their seat, say, this is Ubuntu, use it. And, and I mean, you know how to install Ubuntu on your computer and it's awesome and stuff. Uh, Verb.ink, I-N-K, uh, for those of you in Read Rapids. But... Verb dot pink, like the color. Um, right. Not everybody in Reed Rapids thinks that everybody else knows how to spell pink. P I N K, pink. N as in November. Yeah, I've got this this how this this, this command line Linux uh, Ubuntu thing that I put together. It's called Shell One Hundred and One. And it's got some other scripts in there too. And I, I'm just grab, grab people, there's, just, there's no meta. There's no, there's no talking. There's no. This is how this does, and that's how. And my videos aren't. Hey guys, uh, today we're going to talk about how to, you know, some, you know, sort of, yeah. and and uh, maybe you haven't thought about why this is important. But I don't do that uh, in my videos. That's just not my teaching style. So I'm done with the summer. I'm done going up to Asian kids who don't speak English and convincing them to look at these English tutorials and use them to get Ubuntu going. They're happy. They love it. Uh, we'll see where it goes. I mean, they're going to colleges around the island. And I've said it for years. When Taiwan hits Ubuntu, it's going to transform within two years. I It could happen within a year. But I'm conservatively saying two years. Probably faster. Probably faster. Not slower. We could see the whole island using Ubuntu within two years. Now, that doesn't mean they won't have Windows on the computers also, but they'll have like Windows there, but Ubuntu will be their main thing and they will not, not be dependent on Microsoft. You know, a guy came up to me this week and he, he really wanted to, I mean, he's a friend, but he really, really wanted to tell me, you know, Jesse, you know, there's no future in this Ubuntu thing. You're, 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 you're just, you know, you're trying to convince everybody you know, that they, they, they got to use Ubuntu and there's just no future in it. Microsoft is the big one. And I go, okay, what operating system is used in your car's computer? You know, all cars, refrigerators, air conditioners, uh, Android, watches, because watches have computers now. What is the operating system they use in all these? Not Windows. Home security systems. Most of those are not using Windows. They're using Linux. You don't even know. You just see the pretty little button and it works because it's using Linux. And every year, the number of people using Windows goes down and the number of people using Linux goes up and Ubuntu is number one. So, well, I mean, you know, Mint and Debian and all that. I'm not going to get into that. So I, I'm, I just, I didn't argue with the guy. I didn't, I didn't go into that. I mean, I, I said, I said, you know, Linux is going up, Windows is going down. So... You know, and he, he like shrugged. He didn't know what to. And I, I just, I just didn't argue with him. Don't, don't argue with people. Don't look at me. Look at me. Don't argue with people. It's not worth it. I told my buddy, it's look. If you're right, if I'm right, it doesn't matter. Yes, Windows is going down. Linux is going up. So what's that tell you about the future? It doesn't take a genius to figure out where you need to be. But so what? What, what is the, how does this guy make or lose money based on what I'm right? Okay. Well, the world isn't all about money, but he's got, you know, like friends and parents and kids and, and cousins and stuff. And he needs to have money so that when the next typhoon hits him, he's able to help people. 
and and him sitting trying to convince me about something that won't make a difference for him is not where he needs to spend his time. And so I didn't. I mean, I mean, for me, I'm happy to talk with people, but not people who don't want to listen. I mean, I, I, I mean, seriously, I, I I couldn't I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that I was actually talking to somebody that was lost in that world. And and I just I just loved him. I didn't I didn't lock horns with him. Don't lock horn. Look at me again. Don't argue with people. Don't lock horns with people. Focus on what you're good at. Tell your friends, you know, you have strong opinions about this, but focus on what you're good at. Um, I had, I caught up with a couple buddies this week, uh, from America, uh, a number of them actually. And most of the problems that, that people are, you know, you don't, encountering opposition. They've got a new political opinion and their mom and dog both hate them. You know, they, and most of this comes from people having opinions about what other people have opinions about. I mean, opinions about other people's opinions, you know, and having opinions about stuff that's not in their regular line of work. Focus on your own line of work. Focus on what you're good at. If there's something that you study regularly, 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 then you might have a little opinion on it. But just, just, just stay calm. You know, don't let people freak you out. Focus on what you're doing. Um, I, I, I made some comments about the Trump thing this week. Check out Pacific Daily Times. But I, I'll tell you what. I right now, my personal life. Since you're so interested. I've, I'm coming down from, you know, a, a lot of trying to help people get Ubuntu figured out. And by the way, by the way, if you don't know about Ubuntu, they're going through major changes. All these 64-bit machines coming out all over the place. Ubuntu is going through a serious reinvention. You watch for some fun stuff to hit because they're going to take a hard look at the mirror and we could be, do not buy a new computer anytime soon. We could be looking at a market for Ubuntu computers. Mark my words on that. So personally, I've got my goals set out for things that I'm doing. And one of them is to do more skating, aggressive skating, because that's the awesomest exercise I've ever seen. It's a skill and it's the best self-motivated cardiovascular I've ever met. I mean, encountered It's a whole lot better than compulsively pushing myself to run for no reason than just to run. You know, learn it, learn a skill that makes your heart beat faster. My theory so I'm also going to be teaching myself some computer languages, a few more anyway, and getting some books done and going more into maintenance mode because I'm coming off of finishing this big book. So I hope that your life has as much. Plan your life. Look at the things you need to be focusing on. Look at skills or things you want to develop in your life. Make Make a short list. Three things. Skills you want to learn and develop. Regular projects. We're talking 30 minutes a day, maybe 10, maybe longer. Get an exercise that's fun, like skating. Don't run for the heck of it. Don't get a freaking treadmill. (sighs) Well, I don't see the point in those things, George. I just, I mean, it's so much money. Buy a pair of skates. Go skate with the dog. Give the dog a better workout. I mean, seriously, I got friends in Reed. In, yeah, up in Reed Rapids. They show up at their house with skates. And I'll go, can I borrow your dog for an hour? I'll go skate with him. It's the way to, it's the way to do things. Get, get revolving stuff. Bless other people with good ideas. Get regular with stuff that's going to bless other people and motivate you and help you learn a new skill. Get, get regular with stuff. Set, set up skills. I've, I'm out of time. I got to get to the point. Things never turn out exactly as we plan them. They don't turn out how we expect for ourselves, nor for our friends, nor for our enemies. We can and should plan, prepare, hone our skills, and always be ready. But don't go overboard. Don't fear your enemies. They have enough of their own battles and surprises. Instead, give enemies a little more respect, a little less fear, and a little less hate. At the end of the day, we all are pieces on the grand chessboard of the universe, subject to the surprises and strategy of the grand chess master. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.